I'm Amy Gomez, and here's what's happening this morning. An armed man barricaded himself in a Citrus Heights home yesterday morning in a standoff that lasted all day. Citrus Heights police tweeted that they responded to a La Luna court for an assault. This is the area near Greenback and San Juan. Police say the suspect had guns and wouldn't cooperate with officers. That suspect finally surrendered around 6 p.m. and was arrested. And Roseville police need your help finding a hit and run driver. Officers got a report of a man down on Riverside Avenue north of Survey Way on Friday. They found a 60 year old man had been hit by a car while crossing the street. He was taken to the hospital with life threatening injuries. The car was captured by nearby cameras as it left the scene. It's described as a white early 2000s Subaru Legacy station wagon. If you have any information, call Roseville police. Now for a check of the weather. Here's Carly Gomez. Good Super Bowl Sunday and Groundhog Day to you. We will expect to see some of these strong winds picking up throughout the valley and much of Northern California into the Sierra today. A wind advisory has been issued until about 7 p.m. for Placer, Sacramento, Sutter and Yolo Solano counties for Northern California, as well as the Bay Area looking at a wind advisory. That'll be in effect until Monday, though. 4 a.m. We could expect winds to continue picking up into your Monday afternoon, despite the fact that a wind advisory still hasn't been issued there. All right, so let's talk about for your Sunday foggy start, but sunshine later on. We are looking at a morning rain chance, talking a 20% chance. It's very small here at this point, but we will see some areas of Sierra snowfall. A wind advisory again, 20 to 30 mile per hour winds could be expected. We could see gusts as high as about 40 miles per hour. Now, as that low pressure system passes through, that's where the cold front moves in, and that will affect us in terms of that wind advisory, bringing in some strong winds and also that quick spotty chance of showers. But again, we really expect to see sunshine for the day ahead in the valley and much northern California at 55 degrees mid 50s for the next few days before starting to see temperatures rising to about 60 on Thursday and those mid to low 60s continue through the weekend until we drop right back down to the mid 50s the average temperature for this time of year.